Disclaimer. Our usual crisp, almost professional, slightly echoey audio will not be participating in this episode. If this video sucks, it's because of the audio. You have been warned. Let me look at it again. Let me start from the beginning. This is, this is That's crazy. the ghost. Let's see another one. My bad friends. Oh my gosh, push pause. <laughs> okay. I just when I see an Asian that looks like that, I need a second. <laughs> on, take a breath. <laughs> they still make them that way. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. Old school. Yeah, old school. Here we go. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully the New Year's is treating you right. Um, it's treating us pretty good so far. You know, December kicked our butt a little bit, but we fought through. We fought through. And you're opening up a champagne. We put these little uh, sticks of, you know, lollipops in here. This one's a little different. So what? Like to open it? <laughs> Yeah. Just hold up, remember how I like, oh, okay, hold okay. the top. I'm ready, I'm ready guys. Oh, you ready? Okay. So we it, put popsicles inside these little champagne glass. And we're going to put a little champagne in there just to kind of uh, mix it around, make it tasty. We thought it'd be a little boring just to have regular champagne. Other ways you could spice it up is cotton candy. I wanted to try cotton mm -hmm. candy and champagne. That sounded mm -hmm. good and it looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. so let's put a picture of that up right now. Give you some. <laughs> oh. Ideas and here the champagne. Is. Let's go for it. At this moment, Jeremy's chin went into hiding, into his face, resembling a turtle coiling back into its shell. Next on Pussy Bitches. Oh. Ideas and here the champagne. Is. Let's go for it. And There's I'm a primal primo's right here. Okay. Oh, put it up to the mic. No, oh, you want to hear it? Careful not to spill it in the mic. Though. I know, dude. That's gonna be the worst thing ever. Oh, the bubbles. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Jeremy, a little bit. Ooh, there's, I think it's more foam. I think you have to pour it a single, like, uh, a certain way. Because if you don't pour it, that's just going to be all foam, though. So oh, actually, no, it might go down. Okay. You can pour more once it goes down a little bit. Ooh, that one looks sexy. The one with the like, lime on it. The white. Oh. Because it kind of just camouflages. So... Yo, this looks sick, though. Oh, my, uh, where are we? Close your eyes for a second. Mm. We're in Bubble Town, right? Bubble Town. Are we gonna cheers? cheers? Cheers to the year ending. A great year. I think it was a great year, you know? Or Armando yeah. needs a little bit more. Oh, let's cheer. Let me cheers to something. You know? Let's take a moment to appreciate yeah. where we are right now. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, Is Bubble Town more of a city, a state, Bubble Town? a country, a planet? It's some, somewhere we can't even perceive, you know? I think it's. <laughs> Bubble Town. Something we can imagine, but it's beyond our capability. Is it a state of mind? Is it kind of like a psychedelic drug? It's like a it's like a heaven in the way you can't you don't know where it's at. You can't really picture it like that. You can't. Cheers to the possibility of heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. All right. Cheers to 2021. Right Cheers to 2021. 2020, you were lovely, but we hated you at the same time. <laughs> And here's a song dedicated to that. Fuck 2020, line up, do it with me. It's the one time I'll let you cut right through me. Worst fucking year, no cap, who's with me? I miss my grandma, haven't seen her in a jiffy. Haven't seen her in a minute. Don't wanna be the one to put her in a clinic. <laughs> but no, I mean, 2020 was pretty, you know. Looking at it, it was alright. It wasn't that bad. Fuck 2020, I got stimulus lunch money. Might start getting that punch money, Jake money. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I <laughs> But, like, considering, like, Primal Primal, we did a lot of things. This kind of, like, I think it changed us. It, I wonder what would have happened if the pandemic never happened. I'm home alone, cold alone, stone alone, stone alone with cold stone, so alone. What would Primal Primal be? What would it, where would it be at, you know? And my question to you if, mm -hmm. is... <clears throat> Is this you really wanting to talk about the subject, or did you go into it like this is what I'm gonna open with the podcast with? 
I was just thinking about it. <laughs> just naturally, like, hmm, like, what would it be? I think it was, I think it was destined that this would have happened, you know? I, I mean, if it was not today or this year, it would have been another year of the pandemic. Who, who would have known? Um, but I think it did help us, I think, kind of like strategically plan out our podcast. How are we going to do it? And it, and it helped out. I think it helped out. I don't know. What do you think about, like, do you think it would have been different if it did, didn't happen, the pandemic? I think I think it, I I'd agree with you to right. agree. I've talked about it several times on other episodes, but I do feel that it kind of forced me to prioritize mm-hmm. things. And mm. I think before Primal Primos was it, it was kind of like Mario Kart. Like you can't mm-hmm. win first place every time. Sometimes I prioritize it. Sometimes it's second place. Sometimes it's fifth place. But I think. Mm-hmm. In the year of 2020, it was always first or second place. You know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I drifted off, you know, deadline. Sometimes but, it became like third place. Yeah, yeah. but mm-hmm. in my heart, I know it's, it's, I know it's first. And I'd be, I'm reminded of that every day when I'm in my fucking, you know, white basement. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck am I doing right now? That's what home is. That's what mm-hmm. home has turned to, you know, my white basement, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But wait, really? They hold <laughs> the wank basement is your home? I think, the, I think my my room smells different this year than it did last year. <laughs> Damn, is, is that good? I mean, I'm guessing it's kind of good, right? In a way, because I mean, last time I smell, eh, it smells like, last time I've been there, it smelled like ass a little bit. How does it smell nowadays? Well, more ass? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. So here's the thing, yeah. right? I have this, I, I, we transported um, our chairs from my room to here. These are th- these these chairs mm. used to be in my room. Now I have mm. a new chair that my mom gave me, and it has like holes. How do I mm. explain it? It's almost like mesh. a mesh. It's like a mesh. Yeah. Yeah, it's mesh. Mm-hmm. And so you can, if you, if your ass smells like ass, you'll smell your ass because it goes through the mesh, and that's happened mm. quite a few times. So I don't recommend you come over and sniff my chair. Mm. That's what it smells. But you said it goes through, so you wouldn't even smell it too. Much. I see you smell it the whole Goes through room. and it comes up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. You know, hot air rises, as Neil deGrasse Tyson would say. Hmm. Is that the most scientific thing that you know? That's the most scientific. That's, <laughs> that's why I say it all the time. <laughs> do you say that all the time? I don't, I don't know, know if I say it all the time, uh, but I do say it whenever I can. Whenever it applies to the situation, I'll say mm-hmm. that's my party trick. Doesn't it feel nice to say that sometimes? Like, and nobody knows that you're like, that's what I know. It's not a party fact, yeah. I know. One time I did something like that, but mm-hmm. I did it in front of a teacher. And he and went, imp- or he? he went, I could tell you're really proud of that. And then I was like, that's <laughs> like Damn. disgusting. I was like, wow, I didn't mean to sound like arrogant or like, Snobby, look like at that. me, you know, look mm-hmm. at me in my bow tie. But he caught it and never again. Shall I shine bright like a diamond, fucking mm-hmm. Professor Mario? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Try not say his go, name. Like you go. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I have a party trick. I'm like trying to think of one. Mm. Uh, have you have you seen my have you seen the party trick that I've done? Like that I mean, cause you Well a couple times here's something there. I did notice. Um, well, you went to Pakistan recently. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> recently. semi recently. Well, I guess maybe I should. It's, say. It feels that recently sounds, because yeah, it sounds like you went during pandemic. Me, it was pre-pandemic. It's crazy. Pandemic. Right before it. Right, right before, before it. it. Mm-hmm. Right, and I saw you. This is funny. I saw you on your story. I think it was mm-hmm. your story. Somebody, my friend, one of your you. friends, mm-hmm. and and I heard you talking to a friend, and you said that you went to pa- Pakistan mm. recently. Is mm. it Pakistan or Pakistan? Uh, I say both. Is it Tupac or Tupac? Tupac. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it all lines up. It's too, Tupac, Pakistan, there you go. Um, yeah. And you brought up the fact you went there and I was like, wow, he's really be telling people that yeah, you're going to Pakistan. Mm. Pakistan whatever. I have said it a lot this past year. Right, right, right. I said it to people. So it's like your party go-to combo. Mm. Another, <laughs> nowadays it is. I think another one is like, that I said like, oh, I had COVID before anybody had COVID. Because then, because <laughs> I, I got sick when I was out there, right? Uh, and a lot of people were getting sick around that time, but be, before it happened, right? It was, and that, but it was the worst I've ever felt, for sure. So I'm like, maybe it was COVID, and that's what I tell people. Why like, do you mm-hmm. see, what is the intent behind? Because I, I, could, see, I could see someone <laughs> go, maybe a, 
a couple of different ways. They'll go, oh, he's maybe more immune, so I'm safe around him. Just it, yeah. Or they're going, mm, maybe me too. Right? Mm. Maybe I also got sick. Like To make them feel yeah, sick. Yeah, what was your intent in telling them that? I don't know. It's more like COVID theory. It's either if I'm bragging. I'm not sure if I'm bragging. Or You're not the only person that said that, by the mm. way. Who ever heard of that? I, I got sick. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty sick in my before, family. like right before, right before it. Mm. Yeah. It was in the but, December time. But how bad was it? Like were you like shitting, diarrhea, and just all that throwing up? Because that's what I, I literally had all the symptoms of COVID. I mean, the bad than, flu, I guess. Did you also have the loss of taste? I think so. Maybe at one point. That's the biggest yeah. one, though. Like mm -hmm. people have loss of taste for months after oh, months recovery. After. No. Yeah. No, I don't think it was months after. I think it's a couple days. After. My parents still don't have it back. They don't have the taste back. They can't. Your parents? Oh Should we God. talk about that? Your family has have has had had it. Yeah, they're all COVID. they're all recovered now. We are not in contact with them. You yeah, they, be... they live a couple hours away. <laughs> so. Yeah. Do you have a slight anecdote that you can share to the people? I mean, I think I was. Lo we should talk about that too. There was a lot of losses in twenty twenty, and we were the lucky ones, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We made it out, and our families made it out. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we fun. should we should acknowledge <laughs> that and yeah. you know not be so like oh woo. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, though. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people I mean, died. I mean, even like celebrities, big like I mean, Kobe Bryant, right? He passed away this year, right? Was it this year? Yeah. Not COVID related. Just... But it was not. Yeah, it wasn't COVID related. Uh, who are the celebrities who died of COVID though? You can like, name. You people. can put a little. Huh. A little memorial. Let's put it up on the screen. Yeah. Moment of silence for them. Or yeah. Put a. I mean, there's a reason why our banner says "fuck 2020. 2020. I'll tell you that. Yo, I really thought 2020 was gonna be the year. Like, had a ring to it. It, it did have everything a ring was lining up to it. Like, you know, 2020, we're gonna like, you know, right. the big move, whatever. Yeah. Everything was like, damn, we're gonna do it in 2020. All right. Like, right. Kind of, like it started off good. It When's the started... last time we had like the same number twice, like ten. That's what I'm saying. We're not, you know, we're not gonna have that. Five five. In our lifetime. Nobody was yeah. alive to. At least not alive. Year time, five yeah. five. You know. Damn. The year, what, 30, 30? We're not gonna, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be there. Our grandkids, our grands, grandkids, grandkids are gonna be there. You know what's my favorite thing yeah. about old people? Yeah. It's when they go, in 1973, I was at the Chevrolet and then I bought a fucking beer with my friend and then, you know, that was when drunk driving was like illegal. And it, it was like right fine. Mm. You know, we could go. I did it right before. <laughs> yeah, 20, in 2020, it was a pain. Mm -hmm. It was where mags half the people were anti-maskers and the other half was like, the fuck you doing? And then that's mm -hmm. when, you know, we came up with the name Karen. And then mm -hmm. our kids are going to fall asleep. I mean, that's the story we're going to tell to our grandchildren. It wouldn't even be impactful for them. They're just like, old timer. I have a theory. Yeah, it's a theory. Karen is going to lose popularity, the name. Next year? Oh, like, oh, like for baby Because names. of this year. I agree. I it's, think it's kind it's of a nice like, name. Damn, it sucks. But, but it's definitely gonna look popular. Oh, you mean in terms of like babies? Babies. I mean, like anybody having babies. babies within these next ten years, probably it's, the Karen name is gonna die. Well, you know what else is? Too. Well, you know what's gonna die first though? Uh, the impact of the word Karen. Right now, it's still relevant, but I yeah. think soon it'll be like boomer people. We're saying boomer, boomer, boomer oh, for yeah. every video of every. Crazy. You know, it's and, and Karen's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna it, the hurt of the word is also gonna die down. Mm -hmm. You know, the stock of the word is gonna die down. Just like you put stocks on, you put money on Karen. Something maybe like five that. years. <laughs> then, maybe. Right. One thing. One Once phrase down, yeah. that I'm sad about. I don't hear as much often is that hit different, and I think that was such yeah. a brilliant way to describe something because mm -hmm. one time i said this and i still believe it mm -hmm. that nature boners hit different and that felt so good to say nature boners nature like, boners compared to like what nature boners compared to like inside boners you know like when you're indoors out, i think yeah oh okay like when you're out by an oak tree mm -hmm. you, know, you just the air smells different mm -hmm. it tickles my dick different especially mm -hmm. if i'm wearing shorts it feels for sure more uh, freeing. It yes. feels like it's not, that's like something had to happen. Like that had to happen. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're disturbed, you're kind of shy about it. Yeah. If, if you're not mm. running from animals, it's time to fuck. You know, mm. it's fuck time now. 
Oh, that's such a primal yeah. thing for sure. <laughs> if you're yeah. out in nature, you, uh, I mean, just let it happen. Yes. But if you're indoors, that's kind of like shame on you. Like, what are you doing? Like, right, right, right. What are you gonna fuck furniture? Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? We have a couple yeah. questions from our. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you cut them off. What do you think about furniture? No, but that was. <laughs> Is that not how it. How the not that harshly. <laughs> I did wait till we finished. You're like, okay, finished. let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go into a whole furniture thing. No. Oh, were you? No, no, no. Go on. I don't know. Continue with the. We were just trying to make a point. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so we have some questions. I thought it was the end of the question, and maybe that was a, a mishap on my part. Mm -hmm. I apologize. That's fine. I mean, let's go to the or we have to go to the balloons, right? <laughs> so we put a couple questions from some viewers. From some viewers. Some viewers. And so, do not be alarmed if you hear a pop. It's intentional. The questions, you'll see. You should um, try and take it out in the headphone post users. Edit. Careful. So if you're on Spotify, you know, be warned. Yeah. Take if you're on YouTube, you know what's up. You know, uh, what's up which one? question first do you want to go? Gold, black, um, or go. silver balloon? Let's do gold. Let's do Just gold a balloons. reminder, guys. Don't mm -hmm. forget to like this video, subscribe, share with your friends mm -hmm. if you yes. like the Primal Primos. Yes, please. And we have uh, our new skit out, which is Fuck 2020 related, so I think you'll enjoy. Share that for sure. Be relevant for another few days. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what do you think about the other Fuck 2020 songs? Have you heard of them? Um, I have. Loving Paul's and uh, Loving Paul has one? one? Yeah, Loving Paul made the. It oh, was shit. trending, it was trending for sure, huh? I said, oh shit. Yeah, it was trending. You didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. I think you knew about it. It was literally it was trending. That was the first thing I saw. Uh, well, um, <laughs> can you well, do it a little bit away from Dude, there's like freaking like a little hair. Whose hair is this? Can you do it? Probably mine. <laughs> it might be yours though. It's kind of short. Huh, maybe it is mine. The anticipation is killing me. Shout out to the long hair daddies out there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. One, two. Oh. Oh. This one's for sure. Okay. Let's see. Very tight. Damn. Right. Submissions. You guys are crazy. You guys really get tight in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they sent the balloons they sent off. The they balloons floated here. They, yeah. yeah they, it's like the Harry Potter bird. They <laughs> just threw it up in the air for Primal Primo's catcher. Okay. All right. This is from Cranberry Love 385 He's from Croatia. Croatia. Shout out to the Croatia fan oh, out there. Mm -hmm. What was his username? Um, Cranberry Love 385 You know what's crazy? 385 is the area code for Croatia. Croatia. Mm, that's so, our next stop. That's another, you know, like. I mean, that makes sense, right? Mm. I think I know. Go for it. How did you know that? You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> if all of the boogers you've ever flicked come back to you in a clump of mass, how big would it be, and what would you do with it? Oh my fucking god! This guy. Croatian. So be creative, my creative. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 you thought, hmm. Well, if it, if it came back, all the ones I flicked off. Right. They're pretty. In mad. your lifetime? Maybe? In your lifetime. Okay. Who said that I flicked them off? How big do you. I don't flick them off. You've never flicked a booger. I don't even pick my life. boogers. So then I just, zero, I guess. That's like someone I, who says, I've never said the N word in my life. There has to be <laughs> a just... time you said it. No. There has to be a, a time, time you said it. it. I said it. Don't okay, don't yeah. lie to me. You flipped boogers before. So I don't want to use Kleenex, baby boy. What about rub them on the wall the or question? rub them on the couch? Jesus, or, you lie know? on your sister. Did you not do that when you were a kid? Like you're just like, yeah, rub it on my sister on the couch. Man. You never flipped it though. Uh, no, I flipped it. I flipped okay. It. Okay. <laughs> oh, for sure. I That's what I'm saying. Okay. I, it's a specific question. Mm. It's a specific booger question. I flipped it many times. I flipped it on. How big do you think you want? Um, I don't know. I think it would be Usually when I do flick them off, they're already bigger already themselves, so... The size of these balloons. My whole lifetime, did it say? Yeah. Fuck. A little smaller than the balloon, I would say. A little smaller. I don't think it's that... If you were to clump them all together... The size of your fist? Maybe the size of your, your heart, maybe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, maybe a little bit bigger than the fist. A little bit Just a teeny bit. And what would you do with it? What would, it say, what would I do with it, right? Hmm. Smoke with it? I don't know. You want to put it in your weed? And smoke your it. boogers? Smoke your boogers? 
If you go, I don't know. It'd be salty for sure. I have, maybe that's probably the best meat ever. Like you mix it with your burgers. Yeah, I'm sure there's some there's some good good sodium up up in there. Mm. I don't know what I would do with it though. Maybe put it like if I really want to praise it, I'll put it like in a glass container and I'll right. probably put like a little light shining on it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, I think I would name it like a, yeah. an off like a planet that hasn't been named yet or something. What do you name? Mm -hmm. If anything, I could also give give it to someone as a gift. Oh no! <laughs> give it to who? <laughs> I'm thinking of one friend who would probably enjoy it. Who? So, I call um, the rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I'll think probably, could, they would enjoy it? I think they'll enjoy it somehow, maybe. Uh, depending on how you you know present it or like you package it. You know how they have like that uh, the, the, the like cat shit coffee or whatever, like bat shit coffee. It, it's basically like something. I don't remember what animal it is, but if some animal oh, yeah. coffee shit it out and tastes better. Oh, yeah, it's like goat it's shit. It's actual shit? It's actual... Well, and they make coffee out of it. Well, they extract... Shit. So basically, they give coffee beans to, an, to a, an animal. Okay. And that animal eats the coffee beans, shits it out, and they extract the coffee from the shit. And it gives a taste. That's how I understand it. Yeah. I've heard about that. Interesting. You might have told me about it. It's like some goat shit. Maybe the boogers will do the same thing. Maybe you can make a salt. You can extract salt from your boogers. And it'd be like selling human salt boogers, which may have mm. nutrients that regular salt does not. Mm. More iodine. Mm. Maybe it's the cure to something. Maybe all of those boogers are gone. Ah, uh, would you eat what it? What a headline. Would you, would you eat it? Booger salt cures cancer. Boogers. I was thinking that too right now. I'm like, mm, that would be a headline. You just have to eat it? You just have to eat your burgers, yeah, your own burgers to cure the cancer. Right. I mean, I, I think everybody would do it. I think I think we've all done it when we were kids. We ate it a little oh, bit. Yeah. Try it out. <laughs> was the last time you did that? <laughs> I don't know. I actually thought, oh, that would be like a while back. Mm, probably middle school. I think the last time I did it was. <laughs> <laughs> probably last week. Oh my, no, you did not. Well, that's tempting, right? I kind of cried, <laughs> I cried a little, and then the boogers got in my mouth. So does that count? Oh, that was an accident. But you That's like I boogie. You're talking about no, no, it's boogie. Oh, and it kind of fell slowly, fell down to yeah, your yeah, and yeah. you just like licked it and right. like, put it in your mouth. Next <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to linger on me crying too long. All right, good question. Uh, Cranberry Love 385. Thank you for the submission. We love you. Stay salty, you know? Stay salty, my friends. <laughs> I actually have some fear in popping balloons, but... I will hold your hand. I'm going to hold your hand. Like, Where? Are you the back of my hand? I'll hold it together for your hand, so you feel safe. How about you hold the balloon and I hold the back of your hand? Okay, you can do that too. And... Ah! Yours was louder. <laughs> that was scary. The paper landed. That's for sure. Mute that. Let's cut back to that moan, though. <laughs> Dude, the moan was like... Uh. <laughs> oh. This was louder. If you enjoyed this podcast uh, so far, we're trying to find a description that captures our vibe. Uh, we have a very old description oh, that says like two primitive humans that are comfy or something like that. And I think that's like a, needs some revision. So the health of the fan would be great. Next question. From a blue post-it note. Uh, this person has terrible handwriting. The Tickle Man. <laughs> the Tickle Man? I think so. He has beautiful handwriting. Shit. Yeah, the Tickle Man. <laughs> yeah, the tickle man. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing beautiful about it is that it you can interpret what you think it says. <laughs> it says, what big change do you see happening for the Primal P? Question mark. Now, you forgot a few letters. But it's actually, it's the Primal Primos. But um, thank you for mm -hmm. your question. Mm. Um, what big change do you see happening for the Primal P? Yeah. Hmm. You know, do you want to answer this? Um, I, I, can, I can answer a little bit of okay. it. That's a very... How's the champagne, by the way? I think I drank... Oh, never mind. Does I it, drank all the champagne. I think it's just melting now. Does it taste more. strawberry? Um, I can't really taste the strawberry to me. I taste more the champagne. Maybe I'll taste it more right now. Maybe the bubble town oh, is too oh. strong. Bubble Town is too strong. You Very poured nice. it too fast. Careful! Would you like another? Um, or... What big changes? What I think, um, for me, it's just... 
I thought about this today, yeah. and I heard Andrew Schultz talk about Stop. what is missing in the market, right? And this applies to everything. Uh, a a anyone who owns a business, um, it's very tempting to go, wow, this exists, so I should make content like this. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think it's finding that niche, niche or niche? Uh, niche, maybe. Niche. Mm -hmm. It's finding that niche of how do I make my content different? How do I make my content something that people are looking for that is not yet a thing? And Andrew Schultz did just that mm -hmm. by producing these Instagram clips mm -hmm. of him having like an Instagram talk show and it got picked up by Netflix. I saw and that. Something mm -hmm. um, that is unforeseen um, in terms of like a comic making a stand-up special and mm -hmm. by sitting down and talking about just being you know, facts basically. Current events. Yeah. So mm -hmm. finding that, finding that for me, mm -hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking, how do I not just go that looks cool, let me copy that, you know, the format. Um, mm -hmm. Because I think you can take the blueprint, but you have to evolve the blueprint. blueprint if that yeah. Makes sense. You gotta kind of. It's like you have to do something that people like, but also stands out. And how do you do that? Because everything, everybody likes that same thing, you know? Yeah. Everybody's doing the same thing, so. I hope this isn't boring if, if everyone's like a non creator. You're like, next joke. Mm. Do you think people. Well, imagine about our podcast. Yeah, like imagine that everybody was like a content creator, everybody like that we know. Then it'll be for sure. It's like a desk job. Well, my point is yeah. that not everyone is, and mm. maybe they find this conversation boring. Mm. I don't know. People, is, well, we gotta make this crazy. You gotta do something crazy. You gotta fucking yeah, do something crazy. I don't wanna splash this on. I'm gonna splash that on you. No, I'm kind of scared. Well, you do have. <laughs> I'm like, this is a nice sweater. What's different about you today is that you have gel in your hair that you've never done before. And you, what did you say? You said you're gonna anti revamp the, up. the the gel every. Um, I think it's for like this Don't special occasion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm doing it for the New Year's. New Year's, New Year's. Is this a subtle look? Are you gonna? Uh huh. I'm put doing more. Uh, I might put more. I'm seeing. I don't know. Do you like it? Your hair is growing. It's and growing I more. Like I like that you have long hair. I also like that you like compliments, so this is easy for me. <laughs> I was over here like, like, keep it going, keep it going, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, earlier, what came to mind was you said you're going to add more gel maybe another time. Is yeah. that maybe you're going to get to a point where you just have Trump hair? Mm, Trump hair? Because um, I could see you doing it right now. Mm. You're almost there. Trump hair? Like, what do you mean, like, Trump hair? Like, where he slicks it back and there's a slight curve at the Oh, like, the, it's like a mullet kind of stuff? The thing is, no, I'm just putting, like, slight gel onto it. It's very subtle, like you're saying. But my goal is to... I thought I was going to get straight hair. I thought I was going to have, like, long... You know, Fabio? You know who Fabio is? No. He's like this... He was, like, a famous 80s white guy. He had long hair, but he was super buff, and ladies loved him. But he's kind of disturbing. If you see an image of him, it's like... He has long hair on him, like blonde, just like a, a hunk, as people would call him a hunk, mm -hmm. yeah. But I was thinking I was going to have hair like that, like, as I'm growing it, I'm like, right. no. People are saying, like, you have wavy, curly hair, and I'm like, well, it might just be like an afro or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. not even grow as, like, long and luscious. But know? what happens when someone yeah. with an afro tries to get Fabio hair? You know, what happens to... You have to straighten it. You're going to have to, like, I had to straighten it, the fact, if I want to get it, like, Silky down, you know what I mean? Right. I think he's just gonna be like this and look like with the mullet and all. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing so far. Well, you're a handsome guy, so whatever mm -hmm. you do is gonna look good. Did that sound genuine? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what I realized what? in the Primal Primos is that I thought I was way better at acting than I was mm. because you believed me when I said mm. you're a good looking man. Mm. No, I mean, I could see. I told you, you're a good actor. I think you're getting better at it. With each skit that we're doing, I'm like, oh, okay. I think you know Jeremy has a natural talent. I think. Did know? he catch that? Did you catch that? What? <laughs> Nothing. I was a little roasting, but you. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I think throughout this pandemic, we found out that because yes. you are more of an actor, I am more of a director. Mm -hmm. I think our reverse roles. We found out you're <laughs> actually <laughs> you're actually a pretty damn good director. Mm -hmm. Probably maybe even better than me. And I think I'm better at acting than I thought mm -hmm. I was. You know, so it's good. like, that's pretty dope. 
Uh, we should. We're gonna keep it going. Okay. I think Armando though on your hair. I want to make come by here. Oh. I think. Uh, <laughs> More compliments. Keep it going. I think I think a mullet might look kind of good on you. A mullet? <laughs> don't you think? I think I've had a sort of a mullet in the past. I don't know. When I was younger, but gang, gang, Wu Tang. The Wu Tang. Oh snap! You have that hair yeah, for a mullet. I think well. that's that like wavy. Yeah, I think it might get to the mullet afro if I let it long enough. Cause it's a yeah. it's a thing right now. Mullets are in. Mm. They're back. I think they're back. You think they're back? They are back for sure. Well, hope. I mean. I think some people can rock it, some people it just looks disturbing. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like you could probably... I don't yeah, know if your girlfriend would like it. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she says everything is good on me, or everything looks good on me, but I don't know, I think she's just saying that. Surprise her oh. with the mullet and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alright. One, two, three, four, and a hole! Oh, where'd it go? Damn, I feel like it goes flying everywhere, this little message. Where'd it go? Uh, the frames per second on my eyeballs. Uh, it's not over there. Up. It's not by you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep up. Jeremy, can you look? Can you look right too? <laughs> Check if it's on that side. Uh, oh, ah, where'd it go? By the way, your hat was backwards. My hat? Yeah. Oh. No, Jeremy's. The words were behind your back. Where the hell is it? Um, Do you know what color the paper was? It's not this one, right? Is it's it behind? No, because the old one. It was. So we we popped the black one oh, and then what did we put it? Did the viewers put it in? Oh, paper? look at the wine box, like in the corner. The wine box. This wine box under. You see that? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Nice, nice one. All right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from. It's all about compliments in this podcast. We just compliment each other. Next question <laughs> is from. Tommy Lockhead with two D's at the end. Kid. Tommy Lockhead from Florida. Shout out to that Florida family out there. Shout nice. Out to Florida, calm it down over there, huh? Nice. We have fans from calm it down. <laughs> we have fans from all over the place. Relax, Relax Florida. Jesus. Damn. Who was the last guy? We know about you. Did we say where the guy the guy's from? The last one. The last guy is from. We didn't even thank the guy. We didn't even thank the the viewer and the. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, the tickle man. He is did not. Oh, Miami, Florida. Nineteen and a half oh, years old. He's 19 and a half. Oh, wow. So we got two Floridans. Oh, he had to here. say the one half. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder why he must be a half. Mm -hmm. it's is he lying? Does he, is he just trying to... He call, should have called himself, you know, the, the Tickle Math Man or something. The Tickle Math Man. <laughs> Alright, so the question this guy has, Tommy, what do you have for us in store? Body hair on females, yay or nay? It almost looks like it says yag or nay. Um, horrible handwriting. I don't really like it too much. It's like, is that a Florida thing? You think? <sighs> Step up your game, Florida. You know, dip it in. You dip in your paper in water. You know, hanging out by the water too much. <laughs> might not even be the handwriting. Might be the Florida. Water. They're not even using ink. I think they're using something else. Yeah. All right, but body hair on females, yay or nay? I, um, you want to take the? What do you think about that one? That's a controversial one. one. I think. Uh, here's what I'll say. Okay. That arm arms. hair. Mm -hmm. On females, I like it. I don't know mm -hmm. what, I don't mm -hmm. know why, but ever s I remember liking arm hair in fifth grade. <laughs> like and how long are we talking about? You know, just a t just a typical like I want to see the Come curve over. of the arm. Wow. You know, and I think I don't know if this was intentional of fifth grade girls, which might be weird to say, but let's just talk about adults anyway. Do, mm. do they brush the hair, you know, because I <laughs> mm. used to brush my leg hair and, you know, use, whenever I would lotion my legs, mm -hmm. I would squid the shit out of it and, you know, make it go straight as much as possible. Maybe it's, they do the same still do thing. That. <laughs> <laughs> do so. I still do that. I still have my leg hair is basically, I'll, I'll lotion it and I'll straighten it out. Because when right. you come out of the shower, it's kind of frizzy and pops out, so I have to, like, get lotion. Yes. Flatten that shit out. Yes. Um, so for the most part, I don't, like... Uh, body hair, but I do like arm hair, and I think it mm -hmm. may be because it shows like the curve of the arm, and curves on women are great. Do you um do you like the color of hair to be dark? Cause you know you, uh, there's some girls who have long hair, but it's actually that in Spanish I think they call them muero. Like it's like basically like but blonde. Blonde, so you can't even see it. It's kind of um. But you can in the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'll right. see it in the sun. It's kind of like, whoa! Like you, it's like a surprise, <laughs> like a treasure. Like, oh, right. Oh. It's kind of like that makeup effect. Mm -hmm. You know, at first it's concealed. Mm. They don't have to shave until you know and you go, mm. that's not how you look like. Mm. You know? Yeah. 
<laughs> so taking them apps also gonna say yay, but on specific parts like you. I would say the face. <laughs> you don't like the face. No, I do, I do like the face here. <laughs> oh. No, like, I mean a little bit. Like a stash? Explain. No, not a stash. I don't like the stash. Well, you, know, you like, like it when they turn and then you see the little like yeah, sun like, speckle on like it. Like there's a sun hitting like the silhouette and you'll see like some of the hair on the cheek. On a girl. Oh, but like the blonde one. Uh -huh, little oh, blonde little hairs. I don't know if those count. Little count? I don't know, but I love. You those. like it? What do you What do you love about it? I don't for know. Now? It just like it reminds me of like a. Break it down for me. You know, like a peach. You know how they get it's flat, but then if you look at a different angle, you see a little fuzziness. That is what they call it. They call it peach fuzz. The peach fuzz. When you have that blonde. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what they call thin it. Thin hair. Or also like strawberries, you see like the little hairs of it. That's what I think about it when what I see that. that. Is that feminine to you? What What do you what like about it? No, it's like that. It's like. I could touch it like in a way I'm like, oh. <laughs> like it, it's, it's not just like you know because like, you think of faces you think of, like oily stuff but like if it's you see the little hair you're like oh it's a fuzzy little is face. it like a stuffed animal is it kind of like kind of like this guy right here maybe like this side right here a little bit like you see yeah. some of the little fuzz you're like oh I don't know it's mm -hmm. kind of like interesting to see that but I don't, I don't like the armor too much I'm not the biggest fan I mean I like it if it's a little bit but uh, no don't want to call anybody out but I need someone with a lot of hair. Right. Did um, it go every which way? Um, and we call her. I don't want to call it out. Oh but. no! Don't say it. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're not saying oh, who sure. it is. You just. Um, but he knows it's mean. So. Yeah, this, this could have been. She might be great. You never know. Uh, she, she had her whole life. She still has it. Um, well, you, I'm trying to make it easier. For you. <laughs> but yeah, she no. But she used to have a lot. Like, her, what would you used to call her? We still call her to this day. Oh no. This name. We didn't have to say that. <laughs> I'm making it easier. Does she know that you call her? <laughs> yeah, we know. We okay, know. that's oh, different. Let me call, call her. You want? You want? Yes, I want call her. Me. Oh, <laughs> and she's cool with it. She knows you the beast. I think I know yeah. who it is. Yeah, you probably know who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if we call her that. She's like, and she kind of embraced the name of, in a way nowadays. Is it? The mic mm -hmm. is right next to you. Yeah, no. I said it's so quiet, right? Okay. I think I actually gonna say it out loud so I can we're here trying to make a scene like I have this technique where I can I can talk with my teeth but it without breathing. I don't have to breathe. Because there's already like there's already like air in your mouth. You don't need more air than mm. the air already in your mouth. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we need to do a description to our podcast. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Next question. Oh shit, if I know. Oh, that one's actually soft. Oh. Uh, I think we anticipated more of these pops, so it's not as on your side. We oh. should have made them smaller so they're not so loud. <laughs> yeah, here you go. So you want to read it to the two words out there? Uh, Benny32, Canada, what would you tell your middle school self? Ooh, Canada, can you answer this question thing. as I give you my Christmas gifts that I still have left over? I forgot. Oh. I, mean, I just, oh, I just want to give it to one pot. Oh, Are you going to do it now? It's, yeah. be, it's behind the curtain. Uh, what I taught myself, you know? my middle school version of myself. My middle school version, you said? No, version, the version. Oh, version. <laughs> version. Version. Um, also a virgin. And yes. <laughs> Jeez, I got to put it out there. <laughs> I hope you're a virgin in middle school, Jesus. To <laughs> both of you. Yeah, you'd be sick as fuck if you fucked in you, middle school. Yeah, you'd be the <laughs> sickest person ever. Yeah, motherfucker, you know, that got kissed in middle school in the classroom. It's already like, fucking sad. It's already like, you're already up there. He's savage. If you kiss yeah. him, you're already up, you're going up there. He's so. in the pimp scale, you know, he's, mm. he's, he's up on a chart. He's up on Even grabbing the boot, you're up there now. Well, that's even higher. I you're think. up there close. It's like 70% like coolness. And sex is right, right official, one hundred percent. But like, right. the boob was like, and it's like not, that. and you're, you think you're touching the boob because maybe the boob's not existent. So you're like, oh, <laughs> you think you touched it, but it was just right. like it's middle school after upper all. chest. It was just a neck or something. It's just a nipple. It was yeah. just a nipple. It was just a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> no boob. <laughs> <It's a nipple. laughs> like, this is a weird question, but like on fair-skinned women that mm -hmm. have like dark nipples, right? Does a dark nipple? This might be an ignorant question, but I don't want to put it out there. Does oh. a dark nipple? become dark after puberty or was it always dark for fair skin um, ladies that's actually another question mm. right i never mm, I, I don't know anybody who's had who's had fair skin and had a darker nipple that's you know like well it well, depends how dark you mean yeah how dark because i'm like i'm like kind of i like skin at times i think my mom has a dark nipple like i remember this and i have a dark nipple you yeah. have a dark nipple that's a, my nipple. No, well, my that's an asian pale. thing i think she's pale and she has a dark nipple but that's an Asian thing, I thought. 
Is that Asian? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that is an Asian thing. I think about it. But also like. Are you think about Asian porn? Kind of. <laughs> 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 At the time that always seemed like an Asian nip, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it is an Asian thing from. I I don't know. It could also be like for Latinos because they they're kind of like a light skin. You got like a dark nipple like I do. Like a, like I'm not super dark. I'm like, I will say I'm not fair skin either, but like they do dick turn brown after puberty. Yeah. Or was it always? I think it was always been dark. I think right. Has your dick always been dark? I don't remember. I, I think remember it is much. a little bit dark. I think it's a little dark. I think it's a dark spot no matter. Darker what. than your normal skin tone. That's one theory I still try to figure out. Like why is it so dark down there? We don't get any sun down there. Right. It's just dark. Why is it so? Different kind of skin. Like, you know. Oh, I think yeah. I know why. You know why? Well, at least the balls. The balls. They clump together, mm -hmm. and it condenses all of the pigmentation okay. into dark. Makes it appear darker. Makes it appear darker, but if you mm -hmm. stretch it out with paper, you know, oh, turn it light. light. Oh, that sounds beautiful and painful at the same time. <laughs> What's beautiful about it? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a, it's a beautiful theory in a way. Like, you're like damn, it's like we get all that color in there, but then you just stretch it out. It's like, I don't know. Did we answer the question? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Well, um, I think that was my question. What would we tell ourselves? Think? Stretch out your dick? To see? Your middle school self. Stop um, being fucking shy. Um, you know? I would say, like, yeah, stand up to like bullies or some people like just uh, you ruining your vibe, like, you know, I think. Yeah. I think That's people, your motto. Yeah, you don't want people to ruin your vibe. If you're like, if you're just an energetic kid or if you're just like, Quiet kid, just let it be. If like, that's meant to be, but if someone wants to change it, just don't let that happen. You know. Yeah, I would say try things more. I was mm. afraid to try things. Try things right? because I was always like, what if I get hurt? What if I get embarrassed? What if I look like a fool? The one time I went against my shyness was mm -hmm. I played basketball. People invited me to play basketball all the time. It was a school sport, mm -hmm. and I fumbled the ball while I was like dribbling. Like I was dribbling from one. You know, one court, <laughs> yeah. like one, one, uh, we went full court. This is too much, too much for a kid playing mm -hmm. basketball for the mm -hmm. first time. And that dribble, from each dribble was a success. Like each dribble was like, fuck yeah, I made it. And then I ran way too fast for my own good. <laughs> and then fucking, mm -hmm. you know, the cute girl on the court laughed at me. Aww. And then I stopped playing basketball ever. Mm. So that's one moment you would want to change. I was gonna say I was gonna say that like instead of this question, why don't we choose a specific moment, you know, in our middle school years where we want to change? That that'll be the moment for you. That'd be the moment. Like if I just failed more, that wouldn't be the moment I failed. I think hmm. if I failed more, I probably would have at least one. I would have some successes, and that would over that would overshadow my fails. If that makes sense. It would have helped you if yeah. you would have like changed that moment itself right there. Right. You would have had more confidence maybe in that. Yeah. From there on out. <laughs> what, would, what would you say for you of our moment? Fuck, like, I don't know. A moment? It would be... Did you write this question? Oh, no, I didn't write it. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Producer. <laughs> um, uh, no, it was our viewer. It was our viewer! It was um, Benny. Oh, I've been 32. Yes, Benny. Okay, for the gifts. Oh, uh, last minute gifts. Uh, I gave you... Or not like, not last minute gifts. Late gifts. Well, I, I, gave, I gave him like fake gifts, right? Here, here, oh, this is probably the best. Oh, or should I go... You know, like the word I can close my eyes. You, know, he can it. open it. Oh, yeah, you go for it. This, oh, this I know, what are you doing? I don't know, I'm just taking it as it is. Alright, the same word to like receive it, and I open it, and I look at the bag, I'm like, oh, I love the cute bag. Um, I have to <laughs> just be. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I love it though. I love this bag though. I'm wondering if that's you or that's you right there. Which one? Oh, but you are. Right, it's nice. Santa because he gave you a gift. Oh, Lots of shit. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go for the biggest one. <laughs> That'll be me. All right. Uh, and I thought that you're really, you know, you're almost gonna hit a year Keep with reading. your girlfriend. This is perfect. Yeah, for that. You know, one so, year. It's a nice anniversary gift. Oh, wait. Wait, is it a smash on a bucket list? Do you write the stuff? And it no, keep work? reading. The pull box. Keep reading. What do you mean? Like, There's more information. Oh, shit. Okay, let me see. Are you guys are starting to love each other. Oh. 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 Oh.
Can you call her my girl? It's my girl. You know you love her. Like she might be. Well, <laughs> I should have thought about that. I've heard of Kama Sutra in the past, yeah. and basically sex positions. We gotta scratch off the ones we've done. Oh snap! Is that um, a tingle? This are is are amazing. I love this gift. Um. <laughs> I wonder what she thinks about it. This is hilarious. I mean, thank you. You guys are pretty fit. You guys like to work out together, so this is like a perfect gift, right? This is a workout kind of gift. You like too. to fuck. You like to mm. exercise. Do mm. them both. Mm. You know, not sponsored. There's the waterfall. There's one in here that's called the waterfall. That's hilarious. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. I never would have thought. What the hell? They have this. <laughs> This is amazing, thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank you, thank you. It's a gift from both of us. Oh, thank you. This is a gift from both of us. Yeah, the whole bag. Oh, thank you. This chat, you just, you already saw. But either way, I mean, I love it. Right. I love it. I might have these later tonight. Hot Cheeto. Thank you. I'm a fucking fan of it. And then, oh, thank you. Oh my god. Have a man. Little meanies, whoa! I know, I love the meanies too. I mean, you probably. We didn't know which one you liked better, so we got both. I love them both. So. <laughs> Smell it already. Oh shit, there's something else in here. What's in here? This last thing? Alright, put this up. What in taco cord holder? This yes. hilarious. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It's a craft. We thought you might like to craft. Oh, so I have to make it myself, yeah. right? right? Oh, that's cool. People understand he's an art teacher. Oh. He's a little goofy. I love it. You know. This is an amazing gift. Thank it's you so much. Guys. Thank you, oh my god. That's... Like I think like, you have to have to cut it right. I think so, yeah. Hold it. I love it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys yeah. for giving me this present. Right. The Christmas present for you guys is on its way. How are we on time? <laughs> <laughs> I actually got you guys stuff. Um, How are we on time? Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, we're at 17 minutes, but I do need to change the battery, so we okay. should probably go on okay. break. Alright. Oh wait, let me get my shampoo. Hmm? My shampoo. So... I have some exciting <laughs> news, news that I would love you to react to, and this will be my second time watching it. Mm. Okay, so on this episode of the Primos Reacts, it is. Let's take we'll a put look. it up on screen. Are you ready? There's another here. Um, yeah. Should we open it? Yeah. We open it at the same time. Uh, let me get the sound right. It's, it's already up. I thought it was gonna be a picture. I don't know what okay, I'm go. At. Okay. It's the ghost. See another one. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Yeah, when, I just, when I see an Asian that looks like that, I need a second. Oh, hold up, I gotta find. Oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe we're bad friends, let's watch it. That's crazy. It's I, I'm still trying to take this in. They actually got you in there. My heart is beating. That's my heart crazy. Is beating. He's about to say something. And he said about like Asian, that's hilarious. It's like, it's like he's talking to you in a way. We're like fangirling in the way right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at it again. Let me start from the beginning. This is a little, this is That's crazy. the ghost. <laughs> Let's see another one. My bad friends. Oh my gosh, push pause. <laughs> okay. I just, when I see an Asian that looks like that, I need a second. <laughs> no, take a breath. <laughs> they still make them that way. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Old school. Yeah, old school. Here we go. And what's crazy is I'm wearing a Bruce Lee shirt, which is... Oh, you didn't, they don't see it though. Okay. Okay. But okay. extra game. And Taekwondo Rona number, number two. two. Is it? Stop talking shit about New Year's resolution because people are working hard to change themselves, and here I am going, Ew, New Year's, you mean? Uh, that, yeah. I don't care. Turn off my I didn't think I would make it. And make one of my own. It's I sound drunk as fuck. Is to be a fucking good human being, stop being so selfish, and uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, meet Poppy Yes, these are the kids. Hell yeah, these are the ones. <laughs> oh my god. You no, know, I, I used to have a guy. How, like, how Asian oh, is this guy? No, but I, I used to have this guy is Asia. I had an Asian. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Asia. Named Young Ko. Young Ko. Yeah, he looked exactly like this. Right? This guy's right. Yeah. Yeah. Young, go to Wiedersen's store, give me a hot dog. Right? Right, be back. Right? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> 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 I love dudes like this. Yeah, this guy's great. Yeah. Well, let's meet him. That's his I'm gonna meet him. All right, here we go. Oh my God. What's up, guys? I'm meet him. So, first yeah. of all, bad love, friends, hit us up. Hit us up. Damn. I love that you guys are talking shit because Bobby. First of all, you look like uh, one of Santa's rejects. 
But also, this is a <laughs> highlight of my life. This is amazing. Damn. I showed up on the thing. This is what it's about. Right. Damn, when did you submit this? When did you... A couple days ago, our producer came well, like around was like, why don't you fucking... Uh, she just sent me a link that they're taking submissions about New Year's. And I just... I, just I do, I, I gotta it's say, hard. just a little add-in, because we might post this, right? I do enjoy the Bad Friends podcast. We love mm -hmm. the Bad Friends It's probably my podcast. favorite. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's, it this is. Crazy. It's up there. I love it. I love so, these two guys. This is like, surprise. This is like, for sure. It was crazy to see Jeremy sure. there when I was yeah. watching. I was like, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, you're the first one who noticed it. I called him, yeah, when I saw oh, They posted no. today. She called me, and I was on the toilet. I just finished shitting, you know, the, little the last, last inkling of my shit. You squeezed out. You she out. called me, and I was wiping and listening and really, really fucking excited. Just, like, having a good time. So. I was too, yeah. That's crazy. Well, what a great way to end with uh, 2020. And 2020, watch it again. I just want to look at your face in there. I'm just looking at all, uh, that picture right there. You should see Bobby's face. I love Bobby's face. Yeah. Like, he's like nodding. He agrees with you. I can't tell crazy. if he's cringing or he looks like a proud uncle. Like it's one of the two. Yeah. And I don't know which you one You need to ask him. Yeah, which one is it? <laughs> you know, bad friends. Um, we got, we, you you know, said you wanted to meet me, so it's happening, right? You gotta do like a joke <laughs> I had an accent. They, they said it like I had an accent, but I'm not sure. Andrew Santino was like... Your <laughs> face Asian. just screams Asian, I My think. That's what they were trying to say, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I think I'm colorblind to how Asian I look sometimes. Yeah. I, when I think about it, when I think of you, I don't think of like Asian. Like I, I don't know why. Like I don't know why I think. Yeah. Maybe because they they seem to for the first time, so they think like oh Asian guy. But I don't right. Really, Cause I don't know. So weird. I don't see you as like an Asian guy. You're not a stereotypical Asian. I think. Maybe it? that's why. I don't know. Right. Yeah. So, me and, this is crazy though. I don't know. I tell Jeremy sometimes. Yeah. I'm like I forget you're Asian sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know okay. if you have the same yeah, like feeling. Like it kind of feels like. Feels like you're just like. Are you Mexican? Know, like maybe Mexican white, maybe Mexican, Mexican American. <laughs> but no, they have this crazy. This they're li they're literally looking at you. They're looking at you. Yeah, at that moment, they looked at you and they yeah. were like, observing you. Yeah, that's just crazy to think about. If you think I'm about not gonna it. lie, I'm pretty giddy right now. So you got a hard on. He has a hard on right now. I have a hard on. A tiny hard on. It it's, is it's acceptable. To, uh, yeah, it is yeah. half a popsicle. Give Bobby. <laughs> you should give Bobby a Korean heart. Damn. I'll give you a green heart right now. Like, yeah, if you don't go. recognize this, Rudy probably does. So break it yeah. down, please. Damn. Get us on there, all right, guys? <laughs> Help us. Yo, fans at Bobby of Lee. Primos. Yeah, at Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee Live. Bobby Lee Live. I think that's his I believe that's so. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Have, have there been guests? I guess there is guests in Bad Friends, right? Or no? We also like Tiger Belly. I know yes. Tiger Belly to have guests, but I haven't seen too much Shout out to Kalila. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope it's not a language because I'm fucking it up. <laughs> it might be, I think. It's Bobby's language, I think. Bobby's language, yeah. It's not a, it might be real. Yeah. Um, so that's our Please episode, think. right? Um, is there anything else? We have a last question here. Let's, mm. uh, from their guests. Damn, that's crazy. From their colleagues to our messages. Here's our last <laughs> message. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a little loud. Uh, Oh. Alright, that one fell graciously. Okay, good. Down to the floor. Alright. You wanna read you want me to read it? Beautiful handwriting. Um uh, by Stinky Banana. What was your Still favorite go, huh? skit of the year <laughs> and why? He's from Oklahoma City, 47 years old. One of ours or what? Oklahoma City. Somebody else's. Um You've one of ours, there, I think. Oklahoma yeah. City. Yeah. I think so. You recognize the name? Um Sticky banana. banana. I think I might have seen a sticky banana out there. Maybe. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. commented before, I believe. I think he's commented before. You sure, it's not. Forty-seven years old. Oh. oh, he's forty-seven. He's forty-seven. He's one of our older viewers. Okay. Age don't matter. You know, could be old, young. There's something about an old guy and a sticky banana doesn't sound. Oh right no! Stop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're together. How many minutes? What if it's a woman? <laughs> Wait, who's skit though? Like our that's skit or somebody else's skit? He's trying, he's trying to say our skit. Like, How do you know skit? that by the question? How do you? I mean, towards us, I mean, what was your favorite skit of the year and why? To make. I think he was trying to say like... To make, right? Like your, yeah, to make. Uh, to make. Okay, okay. And why? Uh, this is a... Um, it's a reflection, I guess, of our past year. Do you want to take this away? Um, My favorite skit to produce and like together, I think. I'm going to guess it's the Santa one. Mm. Hmm. I think it's up there. I think it's up there. I think it's gonna be a surrogate skit, for sure. That was oh, this year. Yeah. That was a production. Mm-hmm. It was early this year, basically. That was this year. Before yeah. COVID. Before COVID. 
I love the other kids. I love all those kids I've done these recently too. But I, I right. think that one for sure cemented something that I kind of the I process know, of the process or the outcome of it. The process, I think, was the beauty part of it. It was just like I had we had people together that worked on this project, and it, and it came to fruition. Everything kind of worked out. Even though I kind of thought, like, oh fuck, it's gonna be kind of hard, like getting people to work together like this, but yeah, everybody enjoyed the process too. And that's what I love about it. That everybody loved that part of it, and right, and we got it done too. It's just like, we got it done. and it was, that was when it was to start like something for sure. Like it started the ball, like the rolling ball. And that's when I yeah. realized you could you direct better than I. <laughs> no, I think it's just like, and also why do people say fruition and not vegetation? Like. Mm. You know, what is a fruit? Is why are fruits always bad? Veggies vegetables? get no love. Hey, twenty twenty one, veggies are gonna are gonna get yeah. love. Dreams gotta come into vegetation, okay? Not fruit. That's what you say. <laughs> but yeah, I would say that one's probably my. They're all up there for sure, but I think that one for sure something. Okay, so that was the pr- production side, mm-hmm. production wise. That yeah. was your favorite. What about post production? Like the probably right. You said the. The process, process making it, making it, making it, just it good. Mm-hmm. and collaborating. What about like the end product? End product. Which one is your favorite? Um, I would probably say maybe the. Hmm, there's a couple of good ones in there. Cause they all have their like little like niche, niche, whatever you know, you ever say it. No, niche or niche. Niche or, or niche. Yeah, I'm trying to say. It. But I would probably be the bitch triggered or bitch. Bitch or bitch. The triggered art student, I think. Really? I think, yeah. Something about it that everything just fitted together. Like something, and I realized things too about it. I learned a little bit something about it. Like I don't have to put everything that I've recorded in there. I don't have to. So it kind of changed my method of working with this kid. So it kind of. Mm, okay. Yeah. You learned from that. I learned. That's the thing I I I, I want to get out of this kid. I learned something new, and I, that one I for sure learned something new about myself in this kid making process. Wow. So I think that one's probably the best outcome of how it turned out. Right. Yeah. Cause it surprised me too, cause I had a different outcome initially. Yeah. I think me and you talked about this, and we did agree that mm. it was one of his better edits. Agreed. Mm. Yeah. I think I, I also see that you've learned something through that. Yeah. And then we saw it again in the Santa one. Yes. Mm. A little more seamless. And how much of that was me choosing the audio? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, but it, no, it did um, it help okay. out. No, it did help out. <laughs> I think it was all about process between all of us too. Like we're learning to work together, and then that's that's the main thing. Like cheers to that. Cheers to that. Working together and together. using each other's strengths. Mm-hmm. You know, we're a team. So. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's why I think. I guess from like outcome and process, there's like two different ones. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Um, there were so many. It, it is hard to choose, right? Because yeah, every every creative project, I'm sure everyone can relate to this. Um, whenever mm-hmm. they. Whenever you tackle something you care about, it's like, which one did you learn from more, or which one, you know, re- made yeah. you realize something more about yourself? They mm-hmm. all did. It's no just way. like, what did you value out of the most. which mm-hmm. uh, project the most? And it's a tough one. I think production-wise, uh, I was really ha- happy about the car song. The car song. The car song. Car song. In terms mm-hmm. of like, that one was just. Like me and my girlfriend, we we worked on it, and mm-hmm. it was like, I I don't take myself seriously. I'm not a rapper, but like, mm-hmm. you know, I had fun rapping. It was the first time I've ever done something like that. Mm-hmm. And I there's a part there's sometimes there's a part of you that goes, I want to try this. Yeah. And then you don't for a lot of the times. Yeah. And I just did. Mm-hmm. It worked out because mm-hmm. it's like a character or something that you always want to try out, but you're scared of it. And, but it worked out, you know. And yeah, I, and you create this character uh, or this rapper yeah. in JFab, so then it, it's, it's it could become something. It could be, it's the start of something. It's the start of this rapper, yeah. or this character that you, you know. Exactly, but, and the, the cool thing is like because I used a producer's beat, like a free beat, on, and I had credited him. Mm-hmm. He saw it and he liked it, and there was something special about that moment, mm-hmm. as there is something special about this moment. This one's like the most surprising. Where you yeah. reach mm-hmm. out to a different creator and create. A magic that has some form of collaboration. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing mm-hmm. for you. You collaborated with other creators, mm-hmm. and there are some things that you just can't expect. Mm-hmm. And when you come out of it with you know a W, mm-hmm. it feels real good. 
Yeah, he was real good. Yeah, it's all about collabing, I guess. For next year, maybe that's one of our resolutions. Is collabing. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Damn. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can't reveal this, but we may. We'll we'll guess on another podcast real soon. Real Just can't soon. say who. Just in case when, it doesn't. Yeah. Because we don't make promises right now, but you'll let happen. them know when it when it happens. We'll let you know. We'll let you. We'll know. let them know because then mm-hmm. we can't get their expectations so high up, and then you know, it's twenty twenty. They got they got through a lot. Yeah, we gotta so, caress them a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we hope we can caress you. You know, give you little virtual kisses, hugs, virtual hugs. You know, pat on the backs. So I know you guys probably worked pretty hard. I mean, there's probably other creators out there too. We know more. Uh, raise your micro cheek hairs. Mm. <laughs> little peachy cheeks. That'll be Armando's hand, right? Yeah, I'll be the one touching it. Don't worry. I'll, I have a soft hand. Apparently, I, someone said I have model hands, so I'll touch your hands. I wonder who that was. Yeah, I wonder who that was. <laughs> it's always the same <laughs> person. It's always the same person. When I say someone, it's the same person. But uh, yeah, I mean, keep going. I mean, I know there's other content creators out there who barely have any subscribers, too. And then, but just get at it, you know? Fuck, we're yeah. going to eventually get you know what we want you just have to kind of keep working at it i mean if you it's a, if you're enjoying the process that's all that matters too at the same time so but at the same time you also want the numbers you know you want the yeah. numbers yeah <laughs> but but have fun with those you know in the process of it too yeah. yeah i think um we have we have some friends that are uh what we may describe as i'll say for myself i may describe uh slightly delusional Mm-hmm. But I think we all need some delusion mm-hmm. in order to believe we can achieve. Yeah. So, shout out to that guy. It's confidence. It's, it's confidence. It's confidence. And you do yeah. need that. So. And like, you know, I have this wavering confidence mm-hmm. where if, if I feel good about something, I'll feel good about it. And then if I don't hit the numbers, I won't. You'll feel but, discouraged. Yeah, but it's just like mm-hmm. the confidence needs to be overarching. It's like a base self. It's not a, it's not a project per project thing. And I think exactly. for me, it's a project per like my mm-hmm. personality type. is like, oh, this project hit real good, hit the numbers, and I'm confident. If it doesn't, then I'm not, and I'm just like a slave to the, to the mm-hmm. art, which can be a good thing, but mm-hmm. can also be a bad thing, right? Mm-hmm. I think like what you said was nice. Like you have to have that base. Like you know, you have to know what's good, and like what you could produce, basically. Cause you 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 only know like what's gonna be shitty and what's gonna be good, but I think having that base, and then not being discouraged right. to like push those limits basically like cause then sometimes I'll feel discouraged I'm like damn I shouldn't do this because like nah it's gonna be too controversial it's gonna be this and that but like at the end of the day like if you make it if you make it right then it turns out good it make it turns out right yeah um, that's what I'm trying to do nowadays I'm trying to be less discouraged yes but trying out ideas but at the same time because things can look different on paper when you actually do them in person right. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make them good on paper and make them good outside of paper. So, right. Yeah. And I have that bit of the the John Jones syndrome where, you know, he'll fucking smoke a bunch of crack before a fight. Mm. Like, I'm a procrastinator. Like, I... And I think I'll perform well anyway. Does it work for you? I guess, yeah. Like, I think I'll perform well anyway, and that's my curse, I think. it's. Um, yeah. And, mm-hmm. You know, to agree to a degree, I believe I'm a good. I work well under pressure, and procrastination always brings the pressure. Mm-hmm. But I need to learn how to how bring not. the pressure early. Instead of just last, because then you'll burn yourself out if you're gonna do the. Say like if you do it all the time, procrastinate. If you do it like the deadlines before it, or like you have to do other shit sometimes. Yeah, and it just topples over, so yeah. and it just gets. It's like a wave. It's gonna keep hitting you. You have to swim with it. Right. At that point, you know? So. At, at the end of the podcast, this is what I want to say. Mm-hmm. It's really important. What do you guys want to have for dinner? Well, some chicken strips. <laughs> I'm like, we are like thinking about like, hmm, some, some chicken strips, maybe. Some what fries. are you guys eating for dinner? Um, success. That's what we're talking about. Success. Yeah. Is that what you eat? Success is it? Shit, I have it. Yeah, you have it with me. You know, you know, it's like protein. Like, you eat but after you digest, digest it, then you know, it, you know. It absorbs into your skin. You eat that muscle. Even though you poop, you still get that. You still get that in you. That's the quote of the year, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even if you poop, you still get that. Yeah, yeah. So that's that hilarious. Su- eat that success. Yeah. Isn't that a graduation? Yeah. In the yearbook? Happy 2021. Happy 2021.
I don't know if you could tell, but all the submissions were fake. We want real ones. We want a real one. If you don't, we'll still have fake ones. Put some polls. <laughs> put some polls. You can put some polls up in there, yeah. So, so thank you guys for listening in 2020. Thank you for all the subscribers that we got this year, you know? It means a lot, you know, even though it's, you guys are the beginning of, you know. You know what they say, like, oh, I was here when you only had 100 subscribers. We haven't got one of those yet. Well, they're gonna be, you're gonna, there's We haven't been, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they're gonna be one of those people, you know, you're gonna be like, you know, I was here when there were like 100 subscribers. Yeah. Now some subscribers, but it'll be one of the lucky few, you know. 100 of the 100, I think is pretty good. Yeah. If we hit that million. Should I make the Bobby Lee song? <laughs> Maybe. In 2020. That's 2021, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You could be like, yeah, to reach out to him. But. So you can't do that. Yeah. You could do that so you can actually get him to here and then fly you out. I want to meet Bobby Lee for free. You know? fly, fly me out <laughs> to And then get some tea. And then get some tea. Let's see. What are you about to say? Um, okay. Wait, I got out of it. No, I was just gonna say thank you for for bringing me into the Primo Primos for both of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Karina. I think coming. 2020 was like you know our year as a team, and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's the start to something like. I'm enjoying it. I'm growing as an artist as well. So. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. That's all that matters, man. If you're growing. 